Hey, what's up, guys? It's Clubs Kid here, and today I'm going to be doing a review for Yigal Masik's Tarantula. I just have the DVD here right now. I just didn't want to show you the gimmick. Didn't think it was necessary. Um, so let's just talk about this a little bit. If you buy this, you are going to want to buy extra spools with it, which costs 15 bucks more. Um, you may also want to get some more wax, and that brings your total to about uh, 70 bucks. Uh, seeing as this now costs 50, I had to buy it for 75, so I didn't want to buy the extra stuff. But let me tell you from experience, you're going to need that stuff. Um, for de I mean, for practicing, just for practicing the hover ring or the haunted pack, you're going to go through a spool um, or two. And then, of course, there's actually performing. Um, that being said, let's just go over some of the tricks that you can learn on here. Um, the Obviously, the two that everyone wants this for are either the haunted pack or the hover ring. The hover ring being the one where the ring floats and you make it land on a, um, a spectator's finger. And let me just talk about that a little. If you make it land on a spectator's finger, it is pretty dang gutsy to do that. Um, he does explain it very well. Um, it's just, it takes a lot of audience management, and I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it, to be honest. Um, it's very powerful if you do, but like I said, lots of audience management, and it's it's not for every situation. So, yeah, you're not going to be able to do that just whenever you want to, just have it float around and land on the spectator's finger. Um, so, uh, it's in, in terms of the haunted pack, this one is much more uh, versatile. I like this because you're not really expecting a levitation or anything. You're just picking a card. Um, I've always liked the haunted pack, and I think this is a very good uh, method for doing it. Uh, the the wax isn't on the card, which is nice because after it flies out of the deck, then the spectator can just pick it up themselves, and you don't have to worry about them finding anything, which is a very a very good idea. Um, very cool. I've tried that and. Uh, my spool for this is broken right now, so that sucks. Um, if you're, let me also say this: if you break your thread when you're practicing, uh, go into the menu, the main menu, go to tips, and then go um, just watch that. And at the end, he explains how to fix your spool if it breaks. It's very very simple, and it's it's way worth it um, not to just try doing it yourself. Uh, so, yeah. Um, like I said, my spool's broken right now, and I have to spend 15 more bucks just because I didn't watch that part of the DVD. So, that being said, um, let's, let's talk about the other tricks. Uh, there's Money Magnetism, Magic Pen, and Floating Bill. Money Magnetism and Magic Pen are pretty much the same thing. Uh, they both involve the pen. The Magic Pen is where you put a pen on the other side of a table, and it rolls over to you, and then the, um... The money magnetism is the same thing, but with a bill, a dollar bill. Uh, there's also floating bill. Uh, I'm not really sure if I would call it floating, but um, you put the bill in your hand, and it flies up to your other hand. Very quick, very nice. Uh, it's the first thing that you learn, and I think it's a pretty cool trick. Um, I wouldn't, like I said, I, won't, I don't know if I'd actually call it floating, but whatever. Um, so, what I recommend this. I'm just going to come out and say this. I know some people are going to get mad at me for this. Um, I would not recommend buying this if you don't already work with IT, if you don't already do things like cover card and you know making bottle caps float. If you're not already comfortable with it, I would not recommend buying this. Um, the reason for that is because it's a great DVD, but it won't make you want to work with it more. You need that experience that can't be taught on any DVD or by any person. You need to just be comfortable with it already, and if you don't, then you're just gonna be wasting your money. Um, kinda like I did. I, you know, I'm saying this from experience. I didn't work with Thread before this, and I got it, and I still don't use it. Got it about two years ago. Still don't use it. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely cool to have, but it's, number one, it's going to cost some extra money. Number two, you're going to need to already be comfortable with IT. Um, Number three, I would just recommend if you're already if you want to get into some like levitations and stuff that you get the Gorilla Guide to Loops and a pack of loops that'll cost you about thirty bucks. 
so you'll save 20 bucks uh, and you'll learn that not only for three great minds but just you'll really get into thread magic that way so that's what I recommend um, all in all I think it's a great DVD if you already do uh, thread work and you want to get into a great gimmick that'll leave you clean and no matter what um, hookup you have uh, it's it's really great uh, it's pretty comfortable to use and Egal does a fantastic job for the teaching. I would give the teaching like a 98%. It's just fantastic. Um, I've rewatched it just to get inspired to use this. Uh, that being said, it's a great DVD, and I'll let you decide if you should get it. I mean, if you were to ask me, I would probably say no, but I think that's for you to decide. So that being said, uh, Mace of Clubs Cade, and I'll see you later.